Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 16-part video series showing you how to create Tim Hortons. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So click on new and then click on the drop down and then click on architecture template and then press OK. So once it's open, it will open on level one. So that's fine. We're going to change all of this um, and we're going to add in different floor plans and levels. So what we need to do first is to check our units. So you can type in UN and then this will pop up. Our lengths are millimeters. So we're using uh, a metric system. Um, you could change this to meters if you want, but I'll, I'm good with uh, millimeters. So now that that is good, I'm going to press OK and then let's save this. So just go right here or controls S and then once you click it just go to the folder that you want to save it and then I'm here now I'm just gonna save this here and then type in Tim Hortons because that's the one that we're gonna do today uh, and then before you click save you click on option first and then here you will be able to set how many files do you want uh, backups so for me uh, I do set it at around 5 to 10 um, if you're a beginner you should do it at 10 so that you can always uh, go back to the file if you messed up so at least you have different kinds of save um, files that you can um, go back to um, and then it's not always just one um, sometimes if you're working on the architecture firm um, they will set it at one so that's something that um, risky but usually because you're working on multiple projects and multiple people at the same time in that project um, it's just better to have one um, so now I'm gonna click on OK and I'm going to save it on this folder. So once that's saved, uh, here in level one, we have this um, elevation tags that indicates where the elevation is. Um, so here are the east, north, south, west. So those symbolizes this once. And um, usually where when you're adding, we're going to add grid, grid lines later on, but usually you add the grid lines in the middle and then um, you make sure that the elevation tags are outside of that. So, so basically you want everything to be shown in this view for your model so that it's visible. So usually if you have a bigger project, um, you will need to move this and drag it around so that it's outside of your model so that everything is visible. So before we do or before we add grid lines, um, what I'm going to do first is to set our uh, levels. Why? Because it's important to set the levels so that we know where everything will be added so here i'm gonna go to south elevation right now we have level one level two i'm going to put level two at three thousand and then i'm gonna call that canopy so i'm gonna make sure it's all cap so I'm going to put the canopy on that. Uh, would you like to rename correspond, uh, corresponding views? Yes, because it, it will be changed right here. Here I could put in. So actually, I want to set this one at 
around negative 200. So this will be the ground. And yes, again, I want to change that. And then let's go to architecture and click right here or type in LL. And then let's find the 200. So here I'm going to click the elbow so that everything is visible. We're going to clean up later on. But here I want this floor to be at zero. So this will be our first. Then you can put floor as well. First floor. And then here we could put ground floor. And then actually you can also put this one at 200. And then this one at zero. So that makes sense much better. Um, extending this one so that everything looks smart everything is visible and not overlapping so we have the canopy right here i'm gonna make this 3200 because i want my 3000 um, clearance after that we have a low parapet so we're going to add another level and then here we could add right there and then this one I want it to be exactly at 5,000 so this one I could put low para pet and then same view and then add another level this will be 5700 and let's move this one right there and then top para pet And then I want to put this at 5,700. And then here, put an elbow again. Or we could put an elbow on the top parapet so that we have a much better look on everything. So that's good enough. I'm happy with what we set on our level. Now we need to go to our first floor. Because now... I want to add in our grid lines. So to add grid lines, you can type in GR or you can go to architecture and this is around on the right top right hand side. So GR, you can put type in GR and then usually I put it from below and going up. So something like that. And then I'm gonna click at the top as well. Press escape and then escape again. As you can see, it created number one grid line. Then I'm going to select that again. You can click on copy right here or type in CO. CO, grab it, and then put it on the right side because you want it to, be to follow on that um, way. So now I'm going to type in 1532 and then enter. And then now it stopped because we forgot to click on multiply. So now if you click on copy again, or uh, may you want to make sure that multiply is checked. So I'm going to check it now and then grab this again. And now I know that uh, we could add in multiple numbers while adding grid lines. So F404. Uh, Four, and then three eight four one and you want to make sure that you maintain um, a straight um, and then now for our fifth one one two two three and then there we go so good thing it's still in the mid middle if it's not you can grab it and then just nudge it in place like that you can use your arrow key in your keyboard to move it along
press escape multiple times and now we're gonna add a grid line um, horizontally so I'm gonna select grid line again or type in GR and then after that we want to click on from the right side going to the left side give it some space because we're going to add some I dimension right here so press escape and then escape again now um, because Revit recognized the sequencing from 5 to 6 now we could change this to a letter putting a letter um, Revit will recognize that and it's gonna go once we add um, multiple grid lines it will follow along the sequencing so go to architecture again or go to modify select copy and then grab it and then pull it down and then here we could you want to make sure it's 90 degrees so that's straight and then three three zero nine next is five one nine zero four two two four two three zero thirty ninety one three two eighty so that's f and then we have up to i and that that is five zero zero seven four four six eight and then seven seven eight five so everything looks good and it looks like everything is right here exactly but i want to move this so if you select one of the grid lines if you notice there's a dash line right here that indicates that everything is aligned and once it's aligned um, if you move one everything will move as well so now this elevation tank we're gonna just gonna move it a little bit down because uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select each and every one of this and click on the box right here to show the bubble on the right side and lower as well so here I'm just adding each and every one of that unfortunately this is the only way you can do it uh, there's no fast way of adding the bubble on the other side so here I'm just adding those and that looks good I don't want this one um, to be overlapping so I'm gonna add in an elbow and then I'm going to add the elbow on this side as well and then if it's not on the correct um, side you can always change it and move it a little bit so I'm just gonna undo that so that it is the same as the other so now it's up to you to just move this along like that you can even leave it because we know that it's gonna cover every view of the uh, model that we're gonna create here so now what I'm gonna do next is I could type in DI or click uh, align dimension and we're going to add the dimension right here so that everybody can follow along so here I'm just selecting on all grid line and then I'm gonna select if I like the positioning I'm just gonna select at the space and then it will fix it itself there and then we're going to add an overall as well and then select on the space and then it will be set there also on the horizontal we're going to add dimensions as well that's why I, I put some space right here so that we have enough space to add all of those dimension and then add an overall and then here press escape multiple times and then I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit and then push this one 
and then it will follow along. So now we have all of this dimension right here and everybody should follow. And then here we have from F and then you could just um, pause your video so that you can follow along with all the um, dimensions. Um, this should be 36360 and then this one should be 10640. And then now it's a good time to uh, save your work so that you won't lose it. You, you never know um, if a, a, anything could crash. So it's a good thing that you save uh, constantly. Now um, we're going to double check each and every one of the elevations. So here I'm going to select here. Um, you want to make sure that um, all of this are touching because I'm going to show you if this one is not touching. So right now, if we see top parapet, so I'm going to double click on top parapet, everything is showing right here. All the grid lines that we added will be shown. So now if I go back right here, select this and drag it down. So for example only, um, this is not um intersecting so if you go to the top parapet it's not going to show the grid line so that's that's why we need to double check each and every one it's better to just give some space at least it will show everything uh, make sure that everything is touching so here ground floor this one will touch as well so here a ceiling plan we could close this off we're not going to uh, use it. So here I'm going to go to ease elevation. You want to make sure that you put this one. So here it has the aligned dimension. So we could move this one all the way there. And then here we need to move this and then give it some elbows so that everything is looking nice and not overlapping so usually you need to find that elbow there most of the time it's not showing properly so you just need to investigate where it will usually it's right in the middle right here same goes right here at the top parapet put an elbow there but move it all the way at the top and then just clean it up like that so north let's go right here this one looks good we're just going to add the elbow for the top and then the ground the ground floor is around there and give it some space There we go. And then the south, we already did this, so we're good. And then the west, double check that. And then here, we just need to move it and give some space and just put an elbow on those. And then put right here. And I'm good with that. So let's go back to first floor. Clean this up because we opened so much. So I'm just going to close inactive view and click on save. And we're going to stop here for now and continue in the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.